Hello, how are we all doing this afternoon? I hope we're well. Hey, Sushi Lisha. Hey, Kikuman. How are you doing? How are you doing? I hope you are both extraordinarily well. He says as he leans over to get his uh, water. I get sick of water, to be honest. I've just got out of the shower. Look how boomfy and floofy my bloody beard is. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Unmanageable until it dries out properly. There we go. Hey, Dr. Safira. How are thou? How are you doing? That's what the hair on your head is like naturally. Gingers unite! <laughs> oh god, that is wild today, isn't it? That is wild. Uh, just a little bit of grooming. Uh, floofy, I mean. I'm naturally redhead. I like. You're naturally brunette, right? Okay. Floofy. I mean, all, all hair's good. <laughs> A little bit more uh, presentable, as it were. Where is your head today? I don't know. I'm hoping it's on your shoulders, but uh, there's never any guarantee of that, is there? So yeah, I uh, I've been a bit unwell earlier today, completely self-inflicted, not for alcohol, but because I'm on a water fast. So this is uh, day two. Uh, the last time I had something to eat was Sunday night. Uh, just been drinking a lot of water and coffee, uh, and my body's adjusting, shall we say? But I'm feeling okay. I have plans this evening. Uh, but I wanted to come online just for even just for a little bit. I just wanted to pop on and say hello to everybody. Um, and I will get back into Graveyard Keeper because I did really like it. Uh, but I just want a little bit of a... I think Beardy used the phrase palate cleanser. I just want a little bit of a a reset from that before I go into... Uh, from Stardew before I go into Graveyard Keeper. Which I think is totally fair. Uh, I am tentatively thinking of putting a... Um, a movie night on on Friday I've done a lot of background stuff today then my key uh, did like loads of rejigging of the discord um, caught up with all the music requests and the set lists and stuff uh, I started putting together a little something for the stream anniversary on the 27th of March I do hope you can make it to that it's gonna be a lot of fun we have a uh, games with me and the mods um so it'll be it'll be parts of it'll be absolute chaos um and yeah just uh generally having a good time then my keyboard broke so i had to uh invade oh fucking hell, invade valens stream and um so i just kind of click all my bones out you know oh Right, uh, I had to invade Valen's stream uh, and ask if he's got a spare keyboard. So now I have a new keyboard, one of his old ones, which is great because mine just went completely kaput while I was doing something. Most annoying. Uh, so yeah, we're going to play some Dark Side Detective. I love point-and-click games. I've always loved point-and-click games. I think my first point-and-click game I ever played was, of course, Ke uh, Secret of Monkey Island. Uh, but I was a kid. I didn't really understand it. Um, my first point-and-click adventure as a, a teenager was Broken Sword for the PS1. What a game. What a game. I absolutely loved the Broken Sword games. Um, but we are going to go and try and play some Steam. Let me just uh, kill the synthwave. Whack play on that. I have no idea what to expect. Uh, this was played by uh, and suggested by Unicorn Mom who uh, it said it was fantastic. I do like point and click anyway, so I thought, hey, let's give this a go. It's meant to be quite funny. Very old school graphics by the looks of it. <clears throat> How are you guys doing today? You all right? You having a, a chill day? Is anything going on? Don't have to tell me for that one. Could be quite personal. I don't know. Okay, The Dark Side Detective starring Detective Francis McQueen. McQueen, his asses need wiping. <laughs> Sorry, that's a um, League of Gentlemen quote. If you're not into British comedy from the 90s, you probably won't get it. Click to start. Okay, let's do that then. Oh, my. This is a bit loud in my ears. Let me know if I think it's a bit loud for you guys as well, isn't it? It's looking like it's uh, quite high up. Let's knock it down a bit. You want to hear me more than the game, right? Those are some chunky pixels, right? <laughs> Okay, so we've got Malice in Wonderland or Tome Alone. Okay, we've got to go with Malice in Wonderland. I was singing the Alice in Wonderland theme all day yesterday. Alice in Wonderland. Uh, okay, case summary. The Chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Dooley is there with further details. 
Is that it? Okay. I guess we start the investigation. I get in the feeling this is going to be a series of short stories uh, rather than one overarching game. Wow, that is old school pixels. I like it. I like it. Officer Dooley. Whoa, I almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you watched me drive up. <laughs> I have my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully says... Uh, Chief, Chief, Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. A seven-year-old kid, Alice, went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap... Uh, I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. Ah, so we're playing a Mulder, a Fox Mulder type uh, agent. Yeah. Great, let's get started. <laughs> Open up, it's the FBI. Okay. So there's no movement with WASD. It's literally point and click. I can dig it. I can dig it. <laughs> Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen, Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. I see. Twin legs finest, eh? Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. I hope you don't smoke around, you kid. Thankfully, Detective, I am rarely around, my kid. Bit of a twi are you, Mr. Jones? So, how can I help you, Detective? Tell me about Alice. I'll level with you, Detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly. A tedious age. So I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last night? Why didn't you notice she was missing? I was out. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Fine. Call this number. They'll vouch for me. Bosty Bell's Booty Boutique. Classy stuff. <laughs> ah, Bell's. Fond memories. Huh? I mean, where was he? A bell shop? What? You received item matches. Ah, a matchbook. Okay, so apparently the uh, nanny is around here somewhere. I've got an inventory up top. Honestly, they've got the characters on the faces just perfect, haven't they? Still better than L.A. Noir. <laughs> I don't have a good history with L.A. Noir. Sorry, I just got a notification I need to check out. <clears throat> Let's check upstairs. Oh, I'm, I'm doing WASD as if it's going to have a reaction. Uh... A place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. What an odd place for a telephone. Really? They must have running places to draw. I mean, put it. Ah, very good. Let's check out Alice's room. Me and Mrs. Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones. We got a thing. Going on. Shoot, not a guy in ages. Uh, hello, can I ask my baby? <laughs> my baby is gone. Uh, can you tell? She just disappeared. My baby. <laughs> Something sus is happening here. You have to find her. Okay, so she's hysterical. <laughs> find her. <laughs> okay, lady. Calm down. Talk to the teddy. Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. A stupid, know-nothing bear. <laughs> Hello, Shaspian. We're having some silly fun today. I like those pens. Oh, this is no time for art, detective. Black light. This looks useful. Oh. A drawing of our suspect. Really? I'll put out an APB. No, Dooley. Don't do that. I've never seen a horse with five legs before. One, two, three, four. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I won't be on for ages today. Just fancy popping on and saying hello and starting a new adventure. Hey, I know that tree. It owes me five bucks. You're a strange man, Officer Dooley. I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. Okay, let's go to the master bedroom. Ah, the nanny, family photo. Alice and her mom, like, quite happy here. She seems like a sweet kid. Don't worry, we'll find her, Detective. Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this has hit her hard. Come on, then, nanny. Tell me about Alice. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. Nanny McFiend. Brilliant. What's your nanny doing in the master bedroom? Uh, nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No sorry. How long have you been working for the Jones? Joneses, detective. Even though it ends with an S, you still pluralize it. Is now really the best time? It's always a good time for grammar. Anyway, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. Goodbye. We're done here for now. Uh, I'll get back to work and nothing else. Well, it's her then, isn't it? Just arrest her now. <laughs> okay. You should just play Ace Attorney. I've not heard of Ace Attorney. This reminds me of my own grandfather. What did he tick? Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I'd find out something interesting about you. What? I'm interesting. Whatever you say, detective. Living room, closet, study. I'm in the closet. Hmm, a black light bulb. May as well take it. No, we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, and fat beats. Then we've got ourselves a good night. No, I've never heard of Ace Attorney. That's a new one on me. A good night is finding this kid. Okay, is that it? All the other junk is useless. Oh, that's the living room. Into the study. Locked. I wonder where I'd find a key. One of those crystals is worth more than we get paid in a year. We could take one. You, uh, you passed the corruption test. Oh, sorry. Uh, you passed the corruption test. Well done, detective. Right, so... <laughs> right, so I've got black light, black lit bulb, and matches. What if I... I think I need to maybe ring, use the matches on the telephone? Is there anywhere to go up there? Upstairs, painting. Nice schooner. Haha, <laughs> you dummy. It's not a schooner. It's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. I thought a schooner was a type of glass that you drank beer out of. Right, let's go. Can I... This kid didn't win out in the farther stakes. How do I use it? Hmm. Is there, like, a U button to you? Oh, oh, I didn't see the attic. The paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left in it now. I got some anyway, though. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. Looks like this gave way recently, spilling the paint thinner all over the wall. Okay. Hmm. May not be broken after all. Just a blown bulb. Ah ha 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 ha. How do I use things? Aha! Click and hold! I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. My God! What the hell? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. A dark side doorway. Jesus. A box marked Anne's broken dreams. <laughs> Those look heavy enough to knock out someone cold. Uh, okay. The pattern on the wall looks washed out in places. I wonder what would happen if I redrew it. Redrew it. But I don't know the symbols, do I? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. You. <laughs> Say, you're the nanny. The very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys for the various rooms? I am a nanny, not a maid. Right. But do you? Yes. <laughs> May I have the key to the study then? Sure. There's nothing incriminating in there anyway. Yeah, what about uh what can you tell me about the dynamic the de dynamic the de demonic door in the attic? Nothing. Not a 
thing. It's nothing to do with me, that's for sure. I was here the whole time. Goodbye. Hmm. Let's check out the study. Hey, presto, we're in. Roy Jones Esquire. Takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. An old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left on it, too. Oh, doggy! This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. His magazine collection. Jeez, this guy's obsessed with jugs. <laughs> Big jugs? <laughs> Uh, Ace Attorney is a series of visual novel adventure video games developed by Capcom, with storytelling fashioned after legal dramas. The first entry in the series, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, was released in 2001. Since then, five further main, ga main series games, as well as various spin-offs, prequels, and high-definition remasters for newer game consoles have been released. Thank you, Google. Cool. Okay. I've got any more jugs? Oh. A nice collection of books. The dust suggests they've not been locked out for some time. For shame. Hey, I just realized there are only two seats in this entire house. Don't be daft, Dooley. There are more. They're just off camera. Ha <laughs> ha! The game is self-aware. Uh, there's not much happening in here, is there? Unless there's a specific, specific book. No. Hmm. Love little snippets like that. Jugs magazine. <laughs> Big jugs. Ah. Hmm. You can never trust a man who owns too many books. That's what I say. How many books are too many? Six. And how many books do you own? I don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning. <laughs> so there's nothing here then. Oh no, it's just options. No, 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 no. It's you. Okay. So, how can I help you, detective? Uh, Mr. Jones, there seems to be an evil doorway in your attic. Just as well you're here, then. Go arrested. It's trespassing. I'm sorry? You heard me. Arrested. I want to press full charges. I have nothing further to say, detective. Kindly leave me be. Have you stop being hysterical now, because I kind of need you to talk to me. <laughs> um, there's a creep. Have you found her? Have you found my baby? Uh, not yet, but I want to ask. You have to find her, please. Find my baby, my baby. <laughs> Fuck's sake, I feel like I'm in Monty Python. <laughs> A waterbed. Very fancy. Looks like something's been kicked under here. Ah, ha, ha. No, it doesn't. <laughs> A strange page. Ah, oh, it's the markings. Okay, let's go to the attic. It's a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Damage book. That's a rookie mistake, but I know the things now, so can I just do them? Oh great, seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. should be it. Not the most mentally taxing of games so far, but maybe it's just getting started. Uh, great. Maybe now's the time to stop doing, well, anything really. Uh, fuck it. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm going nowhere near that creep fest. I'll, um, I'll stand guard out here. 
Oh, there she is. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good. I'm hungry, and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Can't really do feminine voices very well, I'm afraid. Yeah, let's get out of here. The label says Old Milk, circa 1880. Why would you store that? Don't look in there, mister. That's where the three hides, hides rats hide. <laughs> okay. A box marred baby's first cult robes. This looks like the other attic. Right down to the broken shelf. Except that it's all blue and cold here. Oh, no. Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? That idiot. I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore. So I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her. Especially if anything should happen to her parents. <laughs> hey, Mythica, how are we doing? Say, for example, they're getting trapped in the Dark Sides version of their bedroom. It's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't got into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. What kind of cop would give up on a missing kid? Most of the TLPD? Sadly, fair. <laughs> this is a game called Dark Side Detective. It's a point and click adventure. So far, a very, very, very easy one, but I'm hoping the difficulty is going to ramp up a touch. <clears throat> so that's what it is an inheritance scheme? You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. It is, actually. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. Watch Dooley wakes you and your scheme will be done for. Hmm, good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him to him to him. I'll just have to get you to drag him in here with you. Come on. Okay, drag your friend in here and no funny business. Throw a paint thinner at her? Ah, no, at the, at the wall, yes. No! Why did she vanish? That was the entire case. That was the entire first case. So the kid got into the nanny's stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic. The dark side. But that's a surprisingly succinct summary of things, yes. Shame the nanny was certifiable. She was a looker. Dooley, she was dabbling in the dark arts. With a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world. Kidnap their kid and steal all their cash. I said it was a shame, jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. Hey, hey, Unicorn Mom, I'm finally playing your game. First of all, we have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. And that's the end of case one. It's home alone. I hope Kevin McAllister's here. <clears throat> Dooley suggested a visit to the library. He must have seen a strange storm gathering over it. Very Ghostbusters, I like it. Somebody get me the Ghostbusters. Okay, what's the case, Dooley? Fill me in. Case? No, I have some overdue books to drop back. So that purple swirling vortex thing above the building has nothing to do with why we're here? Ah, come on now, detective. You're hardly going to arrest the weather. The things you'll do to try and justify this department. Let's get this over with. These statues make me uncomfortable. They're not very welcoming. They should at least be reading a book or wearing glasses or something. Before this was the library, it's where the mayor kept her lion collection. <laughs> Loving the voice so far. Thank you. Oh, right. That clears that up, so... Fines for being late. How are books late? It's not like they have places to be. You're not charming your way out of this, Patrick. Rules are rules. Hey, can't we come to some kind of arrangement? 
you have any parking tickets you want to see? Go bye-bye. Dooley, are you trying to bribe your way out of a fine? No? Here's an arrangement for you. I'll drop you a fines if you arrest that troublesome kid. Kid? The one who's responsible for the storm and, you know, the ghosts. Ghosts? What? A silent si- Shh! Is this your, uh, to read pile? Oh, I've read all those. The desk is missing a leg, so I'm using them to balance out the computer. From a certain angle, looks like Dooley has crazy hair. <laughs> hey, lovely Malefica, how you doing? I'm enjoying this. Ow. Uh, butt's hurting today. Uh, I've had to tie my beard because I got out of the shower and it was just... <laughs> I hope you're well. I hope you're all well. Yeah, this is fun. Let's uh, let's explore a bit more. Looks like some of these cults have been here for years. We should go for their pockets. Dooley's a right little criminal, isn't he? You know, for evidence. Got a button. What a disappointing haul. Photocopy your ass. An old photocopier. Can't imagine this gets much use. Oh, it does. When you renew your card each year, Doris takes a photocopy of your butt for the records. Hey! Everyone's butt? Just mine, now that I think about it. That's the price of working out, I guess. I got this for Doris last time I had to get out of paying fees. I'm going to have to up the ante this time. Does that say guy light? Okay. That's odd. <laughs> Even the lamp is flickering. Get the scissors. Never know when I'll need to cut something in half, or a, a lazy approximation of half. I feel that one, brother. The computer seems to be broken. It's not broken, it's hollow, so they can store more books in it. Roses are red, violets are blue. Your loaning rights are revoked due to books overdue. It is Valentine's Day, after all. Happy Valentine's Day if you celebrate that. I do question the whole thing, but whatever makes you happy. Okay. <laughs> Eclipse galore. <laughs> uh, I've, I've, today, I have uh, gone through ha at least half of my Eclipse collection. Uh, because I'm putting together like a little highlight reel for the stream anniversary thing. If it's entertaining, I won't know until I've edited it together. But my god, some stuff people clip is just of nothing. I'm just like, what? so I've been deleting all the ones of just pure nothing. There was nothing to clip there. Some of them are just my like be right back screen. This clip like 30 seconds of it. It's like, where? where? People are strange when you're a stranger. Anyway, continue. Uh, let's... These brown owls seem like they're making for frustrating reading conditions. Let's, let's go in the elevator. Um, I went through that and also, after the cleanup, all of them get more views. That's cool. I, I was halfway through it when my keyboard gave up the ghost. Uh, so I've... Valen's found me one of his spare ones, so that's working now. But I kind of lost the, the... You know, when you get into something and you get, like, a rhythm going with your work, I've, like, kind of lost that, so I've just thought I'd play some video games. An old elevator... Where's the staircase? The PC's okay. It's all right. It's, I mean, it's a couple of years old now. It could do with a little bit of upgrade. It's, it's, yeah, it's more the peripherals. Uh, I would like a new graphics card, but apparently they are insanely expensive at the minute, so not a fucking chance. Uh, so I'm thinking of maybe upgrading the RAM. I've only got 16 gig of RAM. I'd like to maybe double that, but it's not essential. Until the PC starts actually giving me performance issues, I think I'm just going to leave it. Um... We have none. There was a fire, and ironically, the fire escape was the only thing that was destroyed. Oh, wow. I mean, I've got to go up in levels, aren't I? Don't blink! Uh, okay. Children's section. Sci-fi fantasy. What odd leaves this plant has. That... That's just a dead tree where Doris dries her stockings. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, it's a rocket. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was younger, until I found out they had to go into space. Looks like some of the rocket's aluminium was coming off. That could be useful. If we lived in medieval times, we'd be living the adventures of Ye Dark Side Bailiff and his squire Dooley. Indeed, there is a moving chess pieces. There's a library card. I want that. How convenient. I'd have expected to go for a series of semi-logical puzzles to get this. Nice. 
Fantastic Obit, drowned in moonlight, strangled by her own bra. <laughs> Glum Tales of the Sad Venture. Oh. What a great game, huh? Yeah, funny looking draft pieces, though. Let's call that plan B. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> what about this one? The words are short and I think I can read the whole book from one cover to the other cover. Oh, is that suitable for my age range? I read a book about books for my age range, and they're all books about boys and wizards and talking dogs. Okay, I'll try it. I hope I like it, because I've read all the books about boys and wizards and talking dogs in here. Who are you talking to, kid? I hope I get to have a pet robot someday. Too many responsibilities, feeding it, rubbing its belly, teaching it to overthrow humanity. Why would you teach it that? I want to be on their good side when the inevitable happens. Amen to that, brother. I've always loved trains and trams. Not monorails, though. Thinking they're better than everyone else because they're up in the air. Dooley is weird. I like him. Why your parents don't love you? <laughs> Bad baby incites a riot. The dust is wrong under this. Makes me think it was moved recently. Uh, move it, then. Oh, man, I used to have a view, Master. Yeah, I loved man as a kid. I'll take this and see if I can find a use. It's times like this, I miss walking the beat. Who are you talking to, kid? I'm not telling you anything. I've heard what happens to people who do a snitch. Modern media is really making our job hard. You look familiar. Have I arrested you before? Well, that's not right. Neat trick. What about magic book did you learn that from, kid? It's not magic. It's... Nothing? Hmm. There's a cold draft coming from the vent. That can't be good for this kid's health. But I can't move the dinosaur. I can't move the vent. A, B, C. Easy as four, five, six. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. To... Reading room and hobby. Professor Theodore Library, inventor of the library. Nope, not one word of that is true. Oh, hello, miss. I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. Oh, hello. My name's Raxa. I'm here to study the strange going on. I guess that's why you're here too, detective. Oh, um, sure. Uh, that's me. Always investigating stuff uh, on purpose. Want to share what you found? Well, it's not much, but there seems to be a strange concentration of energy in the next room. I'm searching the internet for a way to be able to see whatever it actually is. Well, let me know if you find anything. A viewfinder, perhaps? I hope there's nothing contraband in this pile. I wish. Ha <laughs> ha, she's horny. Um, <laughs> um, you know what I mean. Who doesn't need chalk in the 21st century? Most people? Fair point. Time always seems to stand still in boring places like libraries. It's broken. If I want to look at any microfilm, I'll need to find another way to do so. Would that, would that by any chance be the view, Master? A film is too big. It's a square peg, round hole situation. Okay, there's just too much here to take. Even my pockets have their limits. So, scissors... Well, I've destroyed some hyster <laughs> historical material. Let's hope there was a point to this. Okay. Well, it fits. Let's look at what I didn't accidentally chop out of Twin Lakes' recent history. Spider moths do it again. Do it again. Sounds like they're on some kind of winning streak instead of having... Burnt down yet another stadium. <laughs> Major staff cuts at City Library. Ooh. Budgetary cutbacks. I've seen the local library reduced to a skeleton staff. I know Doris is old, but that seems a bit unfair. Hey. 
It means very few people work here. Oh, yep. Just Doris now when she's actually a retired volunteer. Tough times. Computer stock goes up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Hey! It's the Nintendo cheat. Oh, that's no, the Konami cheat, isn't it? Um, I shouldn't have read that aloud. I think I may have just summoned something. Crackpot detective claims teenagers' tags were ritual meant to show the dead that walk among us. What? I remember this case. What the? Um, hello? Who are you and how did you get here? Uh, oh, it's Alistair Crowley. <laughs> Mr. Crowley. Da, da, da. Won't you ride my white horse? Okay. Bit of Aussie there for you. I am that switch can never be unseen. The ooze from your nightmares. The knower of the unknown. Right. That's not very helpful, if I'm honest. Help is there for those that know how to take it. All right, double duck. Okay, then I'll bite. Tell me, O oh Noah of the Unknown, what's going on here? I, uh, I don't rightly know. Right. But I do know that the coward Yeats is protecting a hidden room, one that holds vast power and treasures. No doubt that which is responsible for the spectral summoning of myself and the others lies within. The others? The others. Detective, who are you talking to? I'm talking to... You know what? I don't even know how to explain this. <laughs> oh, that's it. Okay. Let's see what we can find online. <laughs> Very nice Jurassic Park reference. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. What is the password? PLEASE! <clears throat> Looks like I need to figure out the password. Why would anyone have so many filings that they need a cabinet to store them in? Bad joke. What was all that again? Uh, Yeats, secret room. <laughs> Mad power within, we cool, bro. <laughs> We're cool. Oh my goodness, more of them. Pray, sir, in moments of your time. Another one? Another? Ah, oh, another spirit, yes. Then with your question, you have answered my own. Huh? Forgive me, but I wish to know if you have seen, on your travels, that scoundrel Crowley. Forcefully mysterious man in a silly hat? The very same. I knew he lurked here, but somewhere. He mentioned a hidden room. Yes, but on the matter I shall say no more. Not until the beast is gone. Well, I just want it. Not a word more, sir. Not a word more. Are you an author too? I don't recognize you. Aye, but not like young toffs with the literary fiction. I wrote useful stuff like house wiring and how to do no plumbing. Think you could fix the elevator? With right gear I could, I. I'd need a new button, mind. Guess what I've got. <laughs> What's all this for? Oh, I just realise it's a it's girl, it's a lady. <laughs> oh well, we're continuing with this accent now. Could you use this button to fix the elevator? I can, but it won't do nothing. It needs to be conductive to make circuit work. Somebody seems to left a glue here. It's no duct tape, but it could be useful. Why are these fake? Well, you can't have kids painting over the books. He looks like he's jumping. He jumped too. If somebody should have shoved a pole up your behind, that's very true. Wait a minute. These are printouts of children's art. Look at Mr. Moneybags in his deep pockets. Rich enough that he could pay a child artist for original works, this guy. Jeez. <laughs> Planking with Pinkman. Wanna mind that? What's it about? Laying hardwood floors, part of a series it were. Have I gone from Scottish to Geordie? Possibly. I'm just making this up on the on the hoof, so forgive me. I surely also have Plonking with Plinkman, Plinkin with Plinkman, and Plonking with Plinkman. I think I see a theme here. Brand synergy, innit? <laughs> why no Plinkin why no Plinkin with Plinkman? Oh that uh that's in adult section, if you catch my meaning. 
Oh, I think I do. Turning duct tape into pants. Make your nether sustainable. Oh, yeah. I've done all this. Okay. Oh, you're just going to wrap it around it, right? Okay, I thought you were going to, like, glue it together. Is that... Need that? Okay. Go give that to the dude. Uh, I'm good here. Stay here, please. No! Goodness me, no! Sorry. Just... My mouse keeps slipping off the edge of the screen onto OBS, which is making it do strange things. Oh, come on. Right, there we go. Could this button replace the broken one in the elevator? Let me see. Looks like it'll do job. Gives a few minutes to pop it in place. <laughs> You've had your few minutes. Come on, let's go. Horror! Thanks for fixing the elevator, Gail. Happy to help. It was fun doing something useful again. What is this going to be? Oh look, Doris must have finally fixed the elevator button. No, it was... Never mind. <gasps> Looks like you can get to the roof through here. Thankfully it's locked. Rather than I go back out in that storm. A collection of books that don't seem to fit anywhere else in the library. Like, how to cook a dinosaur, if you ever catch one. The internet and other fads. Architecture of the Mind by Sarah Bellum. And MMO accountancy. Be the fictional banker you always knew you were. <laughs> okay, horror section. <laughs> you barely make teenage girls whimper, Howie. Only because they cannot fathom the dread I conjure, Eddie. You play on common cliches. Your petty dreadfuls lack true horror. At best, spooky pulp. Your best works aren't even written by you. Charlatan. Fraud. Undead trickster. If you feel that way, then why did you hide my work, Eddie? Again, I say, I do not have your book. You probably hid it because it was too scary for you. Gah! You're an infuriating man. Everyone's guilty. <laughs> Murder. Stab Fest 6. Oh, wow. That's just one creepy looking bookshelf. I like it. I'd have that in my house. These are one hell of an atmospheric fire hazard. What's going on here? I didn't take his blasted book. It was that childish blighting woman. Why don't you tell him that? He will not listen to me. He's convinced I hid it so more people would borrow my books over his. Nonsense. I care not for his current zeitgeist. My works are vastly superior. <laughs> He's being such a child. I am clearly the greater horror writer. I tore apart the minds of a generation with my atheistic horror. <laughs> with your atheistic rubbish. All right. I'm out of you. <laughs> I'll have you, mate. <laughs> Come at me, you sickly twerp. <laughs> you two, stop it. I'll put you both in some kind of supernatural slammer. He started it. Oh, I never. It was you and your... I don't care who started it. I'm putting a stop to it. Wait right here. <laughs> Words Chuck knows them occasionally. <laughs> and not a peep. Childish Blighton woman. I'm assuming they're referring to Enid Blighton. <laughs> Haunted place. The pain giver. They yearn for blood. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Watch that you're reading. Guy like. It's the heartbreaking tale of a girl who falls in love with a reverse vampire. About what now? A reverse vampire. He can only come out during the day. I'm at the part where it's her prom night and he promised to take her, but the clocks went forward and now it's on at night. What happens if he goes out at night? He gets really sleepy. <laughs> sounds interesting. What? Well, sounds awful, detective. Why is the window onto the roof locked? For health and safety reasons. 
Can I get the key? Afraid not! Why? For health and safety reasons! Can I have the internet password, please? I'd give you access to all my juicy manuscripts? No chance! Darsh, I need that password for my investigation. And I need those books kept safe until my genius is recognized. So no. Why? If you need anything else, I'll be here. Unless I'm not. Hmm. Maybe something on the calendar? Oh, guy light. Maybe that's the password. But it didn't give me an opportunity to actually type anything in, did it? So that's no good. Okay, let's go see if I can find any more ghosts on the first floor. No, the second floor, even. Aha! Oh, Pratchett, you fucking dude! Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, hey. Big fan of your work. Thanks. <laughs> Not you. Oh. I read your detective books. Wonderfully over the top. Oh, these are just... They're, not, just, they're just playing test. Uh, just playing chess. Right, okay. They're not actually here to do or say anything. Fair enough. Ah. I think you should read this one. I read this one and thought it was good. What's it about? <laughs> it's a story about this kid who can see dead people. Oh, that's not for me. I'm scared of ghosts. Hello, Enid. Excuse me. Did you steal Lovecraft's book? He and that Poe fellow won't stop fighting over which one has the more frightful book. I took his book in the hopes it would stop their arguing. It seems to have just made it worse. Well, I shan't give it back until they stop their silly bickering. I just shan't. How am I meant to stop those two fighting? That is not my concern. You want this book, you stop their fight. There's got to be a scarier book than theirs around here. Surely that would stop their bickering. Kindergarten ca- <laughs> Uh, can you see the ghost too, kiddo? Ghosts? What nonsense are you filling his head with, detective? I see them. They're my friends. Well, this one is. Some of them are less friendly. But I like them because before they came, the place was empty. Just me and Doris. And she's only interested in reading the most dreadfulest books ever written. Okay. I need a scary book. Uh, I need to get into the computer, don't I? Why are you wearing a view, Master Detective? Oh, I'm, uh, it's part of the game I'm playing. The game also involves me pretending to talk to invisible people. No need for further questions. Everything has been answered satisfactorily. Goodbye! Uh, huh. Crowley, give me a scarier book. I met your friend, Yeet. She says you won't stop spying on him. I find it most joyous to torment the man. He says you want into that room you mentioned. I do. I am most bored here. I need something to do. Something to read. Why not use that computer to uh, go online? Two words. Safe search. Oh, right. Maybe I could find some kind of a workaround? Please. Just stay here and don't do anything. Let's see what we can find online. Uh, it's not that then. Damn it. Hmm. Do I need the actual chalk, maybe? No. Understood. Things you can fill jam jars with. Volume 3. Huh, okay. I've hit a little bit of an impasse then. Um, let's 
go back up to horror. None of them are the ones. It kills. <laughs> Okay, no, I've had enough of that. Uh... Okay. <clears throat> so I think it's my uh, throat a break from doing silly voices. Um... I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. Well, hey! You need a library card to borrow books. Like this one? Like this one, yes. Oh, good. But not this one. It's not yours. That's not even your face on it. Aha. I have a library card. I have glue. I need a picture of myself. Uh. Ow. <laughs> From a certain angle, it looks like Dooley has crazy hair. Hmm. Ah. No. No. <laughs> Again with the no. Oh, hang on. Can I? Hmm. Photocopy my face. Aha! I really need a picture of myself. The things I do for this job. I feel like I'm back in kindergarten art class. This is gonna be the least convincing fake ID I've seen in all my years as a cop. <laughs> I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books. Like this one? Oh! Well then, here you go, Paul. <laughs> Paul? His name is... My name My name is Paul, like it says on the card. My card. Paul. 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 Right, I got a trashy novel. Uh, that needs to go to the horror folk, doesn't it, to stop them arguing? Why do I sound like... Uh, fuck, what's her name? You have to give me more to go on than that. Because that's exactly who I'm channeling with that voice. <laughs> Always watching, Wazowski. Always watching. <laughs> is this my book? No, it is not. What is it? The most horrific novel ever written. And it's not written by either of you. Let me see that. Teenage girl, blah, blah, blah. Reverse vampire, blah, blah, blah. Love story. Sounds sounds terrifying. Its mere existence gives me shivers. Do you agree it's more horrific than your works? Will you stop squabbling? Agreed? Agreed. Can you believe something so hideous exists? Can you believe it's so popular? Stoker must be turning in his grave. I hope the poor chap doesn't know. Well, they're gone. But now what? I guess I could tie up some of the other ghosts' loose ends. To Blighton. I gotten them to agree that the scariest book. Can I have that novel now? Good. I then see why you'd want this vile thing, but I did promise. Here. Okay. Ah, oh, you ruined the kid's illusion, detective. You have your rotten book. Leave me alone. So I need to give that to Mr. Crowley. No, it's a level up, isn't it? Oh, maybe not then. Is it to you who wants it? <coughs> mm. 
You may have the book, sir, but I shall ne'er tell you how to enter the dark place where the heebie-jeebies lay in wait. Not while Crowley skulks around seeking that very info. So, I need the password to get into the internet. Try asking again. And give you access to all my juicy manuscripts? No thanks. Okay, I've done that. That's not it. The indescribable rending things that rend indescribably. That sounds about right. So I can't get out to the window. I can't get the internet password. Everywhere, snakes. Unzip the body bag. Gross. Hmm, hmm. Is there anything new in the hobby room? Pratchett talking to me now. Ah, Pratchett talking to me now. It is Pratchett talking to me now. Oh! Excellent. Raxa, you mentioned you were looking for stuff on the internet. How did you get past the internet blocks? Up to something naughty, detective? Me? No, but I have this friend who needs to get past the library firewall. That's quite well suppressed. <laughs> That's quite well protected, surprisingly. I think Doris was worried somebody would hack in to steal her unpublished fan fiction. But I figured out the admin password so I could bypass the block. Want me to give it to you so you can use it too? Please. <laughs> okay, that was simple. One, two, three, four. Fuck it out. Now Crowley should be able to browse to his heart's content. I'll let him know. Okay, I've set it up so you should be able to browse whatever you want. No restrictions. Excellent. You, um... You may not want to stick around for this. <laughs> it's ectoplasm. Did you see the spooky ghost? Right. I'll uh, leave it to your business. So shut the door on the way out. Did I sense? Yes. The beast's eyes are focused elsewhere. The air is clearer now. Well, clearer is maybe not the term I'd use. Come again, sir? Never mind. Just don't go into that room if you can avoid it. As you suggest. Now, what's all this about a hidden room? I'll share what I can. There is a place hidden behind the horror section on the fourth floor. The source of the phantasmic pollution afflicting this building is within. How do I get in? One of the books in the L section is a lever. Pull it and fix this. Godspeed, man. Hear that, Dooley? Hear what? Oh, yes, of course. We need to get to the fourth floor and open the secret room using one of the books in the L section. Wait, how do you know all this? Intuition. A book Yeats mentioned is missing. Ah, it's the Lovecraft book that I have in my hand. <laughs> You're looking at the Lovecraft section. A bit too godless for my taste. A Lovecraft novel, you say. Here goes nothing. That seems to fit with a curious clicking noise. Right. We pull this and... Well, there's a hidden door Yeats and Crowley were talking about. Creepy doorways are a recurring motif I'm not too fond of. Let me guess. Staying here to cover me again? You got it in one, detective. Try to avoid getting knocked out this time. Let's <clears throat> quick swig of my water before we go through here. Oh, I'm nearly depleted. What the? What's all this? Magica, Alistair Crowley's Guide to the Popular Wizard Game. <laughs> the Gnostic's Guide to Ghouls and Ghosts. Rituals for Modern Rituals. These are all contraband occult books. This is quite the nasty treasure trove. Why didn't I know about this stuff? So, what are you doing here? Oh, it's Mary Shelley. Like the moth to a flame, I am drawn to the eldritch energies emitted from this book. I like spooky books and electricity. <laughs> I even lit candles to stir up the spook factor. A copy of Ripley's Cash It or Not. It seems to be open on the Summon Spirits page. Maybe if I close it, this whole mess will sort itself out. Ouch! It seems to be charged by this faulty wiring. I wonder where it goes. 
What a strange thing to find here. A normal library fair, this. Oh, I got it. The uh, periodic table of secret magic elements. The Necronomicon. A Cyclopean cookbook. <laughs> Those loose wires seem to run to the roof. Oh, okay. A small hole. I don't fit, but maybe I can drop something down to see where it lands. I hope this works. Now to find where that landed. Hopefully without causing any damage. That'll be the vent in the children's section. What's all this noise? I can't hear myself read. So, kid, what do you know about the other side of that vent? I didn't mean to do it. Do what? Uh, I was lonely, so I went exploring. I found all these neat new books, but the one I read was scary and I ran off. Then the ghosts arrived, but I like them, because now I have friends. See? He meant no harm. Troublemaker! Arrest him! Breaking and entering! Into your room of illegal books! Let's say both set of charges cancel each other out. Only if you get rid of the ghosts and find him somewhere else to go once in a while. He could join me in the Blood Wolves. Blood Wolves? The mayor stopped paying the dib 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 tax. <laughs> so we had to change from scouts. You okay with that kid? Pink will squirmy, blip blip blip. Sure. That's great, but back to the task at hand. We need to stop energy flowing into the building and into that book. You'll need to get to the lightning conductor on the roof. Here, have the key. Dooley, we're going to the roof. But it's raining outside. Ah, here we go. I suppose I've already ducked out of one room this case. I knew I played that card too soon. You did, buddy. You did. More of that wiring from the secret room, and it leads to the roof. Do you need me to go all the way up there? Scared of heights? No? Yes? Oh, heck. What do I need to do? Get down as soon as possible? <laughs> Looks like the circuit is connecting the book downstairs to this aerial. I guess I should break that circuit. Then wire the aerial to the lightning rod so the power has somewhere to go. How do I break the circuit, though? Aha! It's a slide puzzle! Okay, I get it. Thank God, that noise was doing me in. Piss! Oh, this could take me a while. Slide puzzles and me don't have a good history. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> it happens. Huh. <clears throat> <sighs> Boom shanker. Oh, is that the one that I just did by accident? It's meant to go to the bottom one, isn't it? Ah! <laughs> I basically just re-established it to the fucking wrong circuit. What a doofus. Um. They're like both the same anyway, so they can go into the rotation, surely. Oh, you farquad. There we go. Nice. Right. Ouch, my hand. Look, Detective, the storm is dying out. Imagine that. Okay, we should be able to close the book now.
Hey, wait the word of Eagle. Oh, bye, Pratchett. I miss you. That was heckin' impressive. I can't do a sliding puzzle sim. How are you doing, adequate oxalot ox <laughs> Adequate axolotl. What a great name. Um, yeah, I'm usually not that good at them either. I think this isn't the most difficult of games, though, to be fair. Um, especially because it was I didn't need all bits in a place. I just needed a few of them, so that was that was a lot easier. Truck fills detective, though. I don't see why we had to take on all those books. Dooley, they're contraband. Heavy contraband. We have an agreement then, Doris. You don't find me for having the books. I don't sell the kid for entering the vault. I go back to business, sans haunting. You should also get that wiring fixed. I don't know why I turned into uh, Sean Connery then. Ah, uh, fine. Come on, Dooley. Let's get back to the office. See you at camp, Mr. Dooley. See you there, Devin. Been lurking a while. Game is hilarious. Case closed. Yeah, it's, it's a good one. It's a good one. It was uh, suggested by Unicorn Mum, uh, and I've just had a lot of fun doing them too, but I am going to call the stream there. I did say today was going to be quite the short stream uh, because I have things to do this evening. Uh, I have I have uh, uh, a digital date, I guess. Uh, I want to quit the game, yes, but I will be returning to that because I've thoroughly enjoyed that. So I'll come back and play some more of that tomorrow, I think. Um, please don't go anywhere, my friends. We're going to do a cheeky little raid out. One sec, one sec, one sec. But yeah, I enjoyed that. That, that was that, that was the, the palate cleanser I needed from a farming simulator. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, we are going to go and raid someone we've not raided for a very long time. They've not been streaming for a while. I know they've been going through a few issues very similar to myself. Uh, in in life um so let's go show them some love this is an irl friend of mine called dan name sleepy dan um so thank you for the street no you are more than welcome you are absolutely welcome um if you are not a subscriber please use the first nightbot message if you are a subscriber please use the second nightbot message and we are going to go and uh say hello to dan Make sure he's uh, not like on a break. Or I mean, I've got an advert anyway, uh, a thirty-second advert, so I can sit here twiddling my thumbs for a moment. I'll even put my full screen on. Hi. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm sick of seeing this bloody advert for Hogwarts. The gameplay footage I've seen of it looks pretty crap, to be honest. It looks like Assassin's Creed Hogwarts. I'm not bothered at all. Uh, there we go. Come on. There we go. Right. I'll see you tomorrow, my dudes. Have a great one. Love you.